Hello, this is a short video to help you find the written homework and the online or my math lab homework for Math 100. First thing you do is you go to Western Online and get over to the Math 100 page. On the right hand side, you'll see a link for Pearson My Lab. So hit that. Then you do have to hit the yellowish orangish button to open My Math Lab. The written homework and the electronic homework are going to be found here. I'm going to start with the written homework. To get to the written homework, we go to Chapter Contents. Then you go to the chapter that you're working on. Let's say it's Chapter 1. Then you go to the section you're working on. Let's say it's Section 1-4. Then you hit eText. There are some videos which you might want to look at, but we want to find the written homework. So you hit eText. And this is going to take you to the electronic textbook, and it's going to be section 1.4. And they have lots of interesting stuff here and good examples. Then you're going to go ahead page by page. If you'd like to look at the examples, that's a great thing to do until you get over to the homework. OK, here I am. And if I scroll down, I see that the homework is starting here on page 32. And if you're assigned to do question six, this is the question that you're going to be answering. And the directions are written right here. This is an exact copy of the print book. This is how you find the written homework. The second thing I'm going to show in this video is how to find the electronic online My Math Lab homework. So what I'm going to do is return to the my Math Lab, and I'm going to go to Main Menu. Instead of going to Chapter Contents, I'm going to hit Homework. And here I am at the homework. Uh, these particular assignments have already been due, but these assignments right here are available. They are a clickable link. So let's say I want to do homework for Section 1.4. There's a little bit of introduction here. It turns out there's going to be eight questions. And we can see here that we're going to have three attempts per question. And when you're ready to get started, you hit one of the questions. You can do the questions in any order, but let's go ahead and start with the first question. And here we are. The first question is to graph this equation using the slope and y-intercept. And I can click to enlarge the graph. I think I'll go ahead and try to do this quickly here. You first of all have to pick the tool that you want. I want a line in this case because it's a linear equation. My y-intercept here is 0, 0,3. So I'm going to put a point at 0, 0,3. Now I need to get another point here. Using my slope of 6 fifths, I'm going to go to the right 5 and up 6. That should meet, take me to the point 5, 9. So here's 6. 5 is halfway between 4 and 6. And 9 is halfway between 8 and 10. Here's 5, 9. I'm going to hit Save. And I can check it here making sure that I'm paying attention to the scale. And I'm going to hit Check Answer. And it says, Nice Work. And if I save this and return, I can see that I have a happy check mark here and one point out of one point. Ultimately, I'd like to get 10 points. So to get to the written homework, you use the chapter contents to get to the electronic My Math Lab. You use the homework link. I hope this video has been helpful. Have a great day.